everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just making sure that we are live. It always takes a couple of seconds for it to kick in here. Um, scrolling down here to check in where everybody is. Welcome to Wednesday night with Diana. We are going to make some Christmas cards tonight um, using the uniquely creative. Hey, Carolyn, nice to see you. Um, just checking to make sure that uh, nothing is. Hello, Sandra. How are you, ma'am? Nice to see you. Oh, can see that there's a few people here. Say hello. Say hello. i am uh, got a little coffee here, but still a little hot. So it's nice to see everybody joining in. Making some Christmas cards. I can actually say I've got some Christmas <laughs> cards made. This is usually way early for me to be making Christmas cards, unlike all the people who are coming into the store and have already got Christmas cards done. I had somebody in the store and money saying all of their Christmas cards are done for the year already. How, oh, Sandra, how come you're finally able to watch? Hello, Erin. Hey, Judy. It's finally September. Hey, Yvonne. Um, it feels like everybody's kind of getting back into that groove of uh, out of this summer and finally doing some, you know, you're getting back into the, the routine of the fall, maybe, and, and uh, summer stuff that you normally do is kind of done. So now we're getting back into the swing of doing what we might do with our regular, regular fall stuff. Been busy every time you've been on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what that's like, so uh, totally, totally got it. And I can't believe we're doing Christmas stuff already. Hmm. Well, the last last time I was on two weeks ago, I was doing uh, Halloween. So now I'm on to Christmas, and I'm actually, you know, working on other things. Hello from Michelle. Hi, Michelle. It's been so lovely to meet all your daughters uh, as they've been in the store and getting to chat with them. Which I'll be in the store, so I'm out. Uh, thanks, Judy. Um, I'm actually in the store on Friday, and then that's it. I'm done. I was originally going to be done on Monday, and then um, Dan's working in the new store. He's doing all the painting and getting everything done, and then Heather is going down and making a trip to go pick up a bunch of stuff, a bunch of boxes that are sitting at the border on Friday. So she asked if I would come in on Friday. So I've got one more day in the store on Friday. Um, already was a little teary on Monday saying goodbye to some people. I can't believe I'm already going to be done. Um, and, um, and then I guess I'll have more time to actually be doing this kind of stuff. So I was actually, uh, Heather was in the store with me on Monday and we were uh, putting together some of the projects I'm going to be working on. Oh, that's okay, Judy. I know what that's like. My car was in the shop on Friday. So I'm just going to have to figure out ways. Um, all of us that are here, yeah, no torturing me for one more day. I actually was doing some packing up of, thanks, Michelle. Um, hello, Sherry. Um, I uh, was actually doing some packing up of the store on Friday. So the stuff is still accessible if anybody's coming in this week. Um, it's all sitting there packed up. So I know where to find things, for instance, on Friday. But we were trying to take down uh, and put away some, for instance, all the stuff that was on the back, very, very back wall, so that we could take down the slat walls so Dan would be able to be packing them up. Um, and I'm actually going in next Monday and next Wednesday into the store to help with um, more packing. Um, so I'm, um, I'm actually going to be in, but I'm actually going to, the store will be closed next week. Hello, Ruby. Um, so yeah, actually busy, busy, busy. Um, and I'm just, I was just thinking of what I was about to say is I'm actually going to have to find ways to still stay in touch with a lot of, a lot of the people and a lot of the friends that I've made since I've been working in the store. Cause I don't want to say goodbye to anybody. Um, and I've just so enjoyed, um, meeting with everybody. So I don't know if that's doing crops at the new store or we just all get together and drive down to the new store together. And then we actually just, you know, crop for a couple, you know, for a couple of hours or whatever. We're going to have to figure something out anyways. So today I have nine cards that I've made here. And this is from one of the new companies that we've um, started, um, that Heather has brought into the store. 
Um, and this is uniquely creative. And this is one of the Australian companies. Um, let me grab. And so this was from um, the Cozy Christmas Collection. That is in, um, I know, going to miss coming in to pick up my orders. Yeah, I know. Um, me too. Me too. I'm sad. It's, I'm sad. I'm sad too. Um, so this is the Cozy Christmas Card Makers Collection Pack that I am working with here today. And then I put together um, a little try it and buy it package. So there's there are two um, kits, basically, that are on the website. There are still some kits available with that I had put together for all to make all of these these uh, these cards. Okay, and so when I did that, I pulled together um, some of the papers um, from this collection, along with some ribbons. You're going to see here. Um, and some card stocks that I felt would actually match the papers that were in here. So these were the card stocks that went in. Hi, Linda. Um, and the ribbons. Um, then there is also the Card Makers Collection Pack that is, is available in the online store too or in the store. So you've got two options to be able to work with here. So I'm going to show you how I put all of these things together. Um, because this is a collection out of the UK, the sizes for some of their stuff is a little bit, um, it's, it's more European or a little bit different. Okay. So I did just a little bit, um, when I was doing some of the trimming, I trimmed a few things. Um, and so when I say that, like, um, some of the papers, like for instance, I'm going to show you. Um, these center pieces here, this, this sheet here, this sheet here, were both together on one piece of paper. Um, and then I just trimmed them. Okay. Um, they are slightly, uh, it's not your, your usual, okay, what did I do with my ruler? Um, they are not your usual A2 card size. Um, I trim, I, I cut everything out today and got ready for the for setup today. And now, what have I done with my roller? There it is, right where I normally put it. Um, so this this size here. So this is five and three quarters by three and three quarters, a little bit larger. So. This card size here that I actually did is six and um, six and a quarter by four and a half. So um, when I, the card kits actually have envelopes in it, but the card, the, the size of envelope that I find works best with this is actually an A6. Hello, Linda. You just finished schoolwork. Uh, who are you doing schoolwork with? Um, so and an A6 is not an average um, an envelope size, but I actually have A6 card envelopes uh, just because I find that with a lot of cards when we're making them ourselves, that's the size that I tend to end up creating sometimes. So, so these two are both the same size. So let me show you and then we're gonna make these things. So um, there was a lot of uh, fussy cutting. There were fussy cutting sheets. Uh, there were paper sheets, um, and then there were these sheets that had kind of designs on them. So, and I will show you those. So this is one of the cards, and I've actually finished the insides of these cards using some of the designs. You can see that there's a little, um, one of the little fussy cuttings. And then, um, so brown was a card, which we normally, you know, cardstock that you normally wouldn't think of using for Christmas, but it just went so well with the elements can kind of see here it looks like it's inside a snow globe um, and then the some of the there was a sheet that had all of these um, sayings on it so they were cut apart as well um, and then there was this was part of the sheets as well that um, just needed me to score it okay so this was one of the sheets and then I actually took another piece and I actually cut it put it inside so I'll show you how I did that here was a similar one now you're gonna see here that I have added um, 
some stardust glitter on here just to jazz them up a little bit okay and I finished the inside so what I've done is I've just surely used the leftover paper that I've from the cutouts um, from the from the paper and then I have put some cutouts on the inside um, this is so there was paper um, and then I added paper cut out to it so again this was one of the full sheets of paper so the the, the actual cardstock that came in the envelope is so this is a full sheet of the cardstock and it came eight what is that eight and a quarter by five and ugh, it's not quite just over three quarters so that is one of the full size sheets that came and I have I finished the inside okay so I just scored it and then um, I have cut down some of the other sheets to do that. So then this is one of the other little cards. You can see you can see the glitter on it. And then these are all the cut aparts. And then this is the red cardstock, and this is just how I finish the inside. This is so they're out of the red cardstock. I got two cards, um, and then I cut one of the sheets for the front down to um, get two fronts. And then I finished the inside. And then I got from the green cardstock, I got two bases. And I cut two for the front. And then I finished the inside. And here's the, I like, there's like two Santas. And then I finished the inside. So let me, let's start making some of these. Okay. So I am going to start, I think I'll start with the Santas. I like the Santa ones. Um, okay, so let me, so this one is going to be this one here. So we're going to do this card here. So the card, the green card stuck, I cut to eight and a half by five and a half. So it's eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it in half. So five and a quarter or five and a half by three and three quarters basically and then this is three and three quarters by five and a quarter and I am going to yeah I foam mounted just double checking and I'm just using some of the this is the roll and this is I'm using thinner foam mount. Sometimes when we're doing um, cards, we don't necessarily want to have a lot of bulk, but I did want to have some layers here. Yeah, it's nice just to add a little bit of something to the inside, isn't it, Linda? And I literally just took uh, pieces that were um, surely left over from when I was cutting up the different pieces. And I went, oh, look, this piece is perfect, just to slap on the inside. And I'm gonna show you as well. This is all the fussy cutting stuff that I had left. There is a ton, a ton. And then all these sentiments that are left. So there is so much left over to work with. And there is an entire sheet of, of tags that I have done nothing with yet so far. So, so much left over to work with. It's really quite cute. A little bit different. They're not, um, you know, your usual either really cutesy or um, just a kind of a different feel to them. So I'm just gonna center this here probably could have sent that a bit better but and then I'm going to put Santa just kind of down here and yeah I'm going to layer him up but I'm going to use um, some of these ones because they're just easier to smack in here It does. There, it's it's um, 
it's not your usual, but you kind of see all the time. I think I'm going to take one of the, I've got some small little foamy squares too that I'm going to just add to make sure they're all kind of level here. One for his foot down here. So what's everybody been doing? Not a box set for sure. Absolutely not. What's everybody been doing this week? Fall always feels like you're getting back into the swing of things. So I'm going to kind of put him in the middle. I want to make sure I've got enough room. The package is down there too. Usually when I do these, I will, um, so it's going to go on the inside. So this one had, and I, so there's candy cane, I kind of layered these, and I'm just going to glue those ones on. Hello, Heather, playing in your craft room, good for you. I actually got mine cleaned up a little bit today. A little bit of cleaning in my office. Fussy cutting. Oh, yeah. I was actually doing some of this as I was prepping for this one. Did a fair bit of fussy cutting. Okay, come on, glue. Oh, goody, I have an extra piece of this one. I'm going to take, I'm just going to mark on the inside how long where I'm going to cut it. I am going to use the cutter. glue that on the inside and I am not going to foam mount that at all because I don't want any bulk on the inside and got a little another little sweet Plum cake that's going to go down here on the end. So that's my inside decorated there. And then, so I took one of the sayings, tis the season to be jolly. I'm going to trim it. And this was another leftover piece, and I'm going to stick it in the center. I'm going to trim this. I was going to trim it by hand, but I don't trust myself, so I'm going to use my paper trimmer. I do not necessarily have a steady hand. I know that about myself. Now I edged the other one with green, but I don't think I'm gonna do that with this one. I think I'm just gonna put a bit of tape on. I'm just gonna put a bit, put some foam squares on and I'm just gonna bounce it up. Oh, you just got home. I actually just had dinner too. I was waiting for my husband to get home. So I just had dinner before I started. What time is Dan getting home from doing stuff at the store, Heather? And now I'm just gonna 
Now, there is so much stuff with these packages, guys. This is what I chose to do. There are so many different things you could do, though. So that's that little one. Now, I'm going to move on to the next one because I would actually, at the end, so what I did on here, as you can see, I went in and on the little, and all on, um, on his trim, on his hat, on his there, on his coat, on the, the basket down in here, on all of his fur, in here and in here, and then all in here and on the ribbon, I actually used the diamond. Um, sorry, it's Stardust that I used. I will do that at the end. So I'm going to set this aside for now. I'll set all the cards aside and I'll do all the cards and then I will come back and do that. So where's my other Santa one? I'm going to do this one. So this is the other Santa one. So this one's a little bit different. So see another red base. So, this so was another red base that was cut. So, the okay, so the other one was green, so this one was also cut. This one is, so it's eight and a half wide by five and three eighths, and it's scored in half. So, this was a separate piece, it was one sheet. And it's a little bit longer, so I trimmed it to five and a quarter. And I am actually going to foam mount it just to give it a bit of dimension. So I trimmed a bit. This was on the bottom. And I trimmed that off the bottom. And it is going to go, sorry, that's going to go in the front. That's what I'm going to use on the inside. Okay? So I'm going to... I tell you, they were just perfect for me to finish off the insides of each of the cards. All these little pieces that I trimmed off. Um, it is stickles. It is, Linda, it is the stickles. Um, so I have used stickles stardust. That is what gave me... Um, let me pull up the stickle stardust. Okay. But you can also use diamond and the diamond would be more gold. So when I did the Halloween cards two weeks ago, the getting some messages popping up here. Um, the diamond will give you more of a gold to it. And when I did the Halloween cards, oh, I keep getting this message too low FPS. Um, but I wanted this one to have more of a tinsel -y look to it. And that's what I love about Stardust. Heather's going to have to get, Heather, you need to get in some more. Uh, I noticed because I was helping somebody on Monday, there's not much left in the store of um, stickles. Okay, so I'm going to center this one. It's just going to be just a tidge of red around the edges. And then there was a sheet that was full of these little sayings. So I'm just going to put that in the middle chose this Merry Christmas one because it just works so well. Yeah, I have to say that I have just loved stickles for the finishing of all of these things. Okay, this one is... I'm just going to put it right in the center of the circle. And then my Santa, I'm going to put him right down here in the bottom. And I'm again, I'm going to, you can see how much fussy cutting there was. 
These are all fussy cut. Which I actually just took my time and played. Just So I'm just using these squares so that I can get into all the little parts. All the little parts, can you see? tucked right over here it's gonna overlap I wanted them right up against the edge here and then there's a present and I'm gonna overlap it here you could like on this one I just left it all in but this time I cut it out you could actually leave it the same height if or you could um, just glue it on if you want to so see you could have different levels but I think I'm just gonna like so and then I'm gonna put this was a, a drop there's so many different ones and I added this up here and I'm gonna use these little ones to stick it on here at the top overlap the circle so that it wants some layers some movement and then in the inside I'm going to take the piece that was left over and I'm going to glue it down on the bottom this was the piece that I cut off from the front add it to the bottom here And then I fussy cut a stocking and I'm going to put it right there. And then I will come back and I will do the detailing. So on this one, I did all just kind of following the lines and then I did around the circle I did the square and then I'm going to do the ribbon and again the trim and the evergreens so I'll set that aside so now let's do okay let's do this green one so that's what this one looks like here another green card with some floral Again, there's a you know big variety, some florals, some traditional ones. So this again was a three and three quarter card by five and an eighth. So it's really you know quite simple, but by the time that you get them, you go from this to this. It just um, and they're quite fast to do. Probably the longest, of course, is fussy cutting and deciding what you want where. Has anybody else started their Christmas cards already? This was a nice way to get some Christmas cards done, I have to say. I am not usually one to start my Christmas cards early. I have 
to say I am loving card kits to actually get them done. So off the sentiment squares, I grabbed the Christmas wishes one and I'm going to center it right there. And then there's some beautiful florals. Oh, good for you, Linda. And I'm going to do it like this, put the roses towards the bottom and it matches. If you look, so there's the floral and it matches what's on there, which is what I like. Okay. So I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to put this on first, I think. Position the big floral, make sure I get it in there. Oh, good for you, Linda. That is the ideal, isn't it? I'm with you. That would be nice. now. Now this one, I think I'm going to do, I am, I had a shorter piece left over this time rather than a great big full long piece. So maybe I'm just going to do it like that this time. Nope. I'm going to put that in there at all. And then that's that one done. And then I'll go back in and I'm going to do some glitter around there and on there and then in on the flowers. So that's those. Oh, no, I haven't done the Christmas tree one. I've done that one and I've done that one. And which other? Oh, I did Santa. Okay, I'm going to put him up there. Okay, so let me do this one. I'm going to do the Christmas tree one. So this is another red card. So basically, I took the card red card stock, cut it in half, scored it. Took So when you're looking at the papers that came with this cut this kit there are two checked papers you have to be very careful because they're very very similar and so this one i cut to three and three quarters by five Yes, you can add to envelopes. I'm going to do this one a little bit different this time, I think. One thing I might do this year is do the wax. I do like to stamp on my envelopes, and I do have the wax that I want to do this year. That just takes time, right? Doing all the wax. Um... And I really want to do that this year. Okay, let's center this. And then I'm going to put the Christmas wishes. Okay, now I want to, should I get this right? Because I want to make sure that I've got enough room 
to put the Christmas tree in here and not cover up the Christmas wishes. So centering it. Okay, I'll bring this in here a little bit. <coughs> I'm going to take my pencil. Just put a little mark there about where I'm going to put that. Okay, Linda, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, hang on, guys. So I got to check my battery. It's telling me it's so it's not connected in here. Give me two seconds. Why is it telling me it's not connected in? Because it's not. Came out. Hang on. There we go. That should be better. Back in the summer or back, yeah, I guess it would have been August when I actually had to send my computer off and have the entire motherboard replaced because the ports where the batter, uh, battery pack goes into ports went right in it was not good so now it works well okay so this is going to go right about there so that my christmas tree will fit right like so placement's important because i also have the presents that are going to go over there some gifts under the tree here. Tuck these and I'm gonna I'm tucking them in under the tree so you kind of see I've got them tucked under the edge of the tree there. And then here is another little floral and I'm gonna put it up here at the top. Oh I need to pull out some more of these up at the top and then I will go in I'm going to add in sparklies on the bow some sparklies in here can you see oh, I have the sparklies on there I'm going to do it on the ribbons and then I'll add them in on the tree as well but now I'm going to do the inside here center that and I'll put that flower there
so I'm putting the band across. I'm leaving a little bit of room on the end so that I can put the flower there. So I will now set that one aside and come back to do the flowers at, or the um, paper at, or the, ugh, the stardust after. So now let me, what is this one? Okay, I'm going to show you how I did some of these other ones. So this is one of the ones, this is this one here. And this is one of the ones where the paper came like this. Okay, so it was a sheet of the cardstock. And then all I did, so the cardstock looked like this. And I scored it in the middle. Okay, so it's like four and, and an eighth. I scored it and there's almost a line when you look at the paper right there and I scored it in half now the paper feels light so one of the things that I did there was another sheet this was half a sheet of it so I'm gonna glue that to the inside so that'll help first of all it works and I just find it helps to give it some weight. It gives it a little bit more structure. Oh. Line up, please. Okay, so that's what I've done. Just giving a little bit, gives a little bit more weight. Then also on the inside, I'm going to add in a red band. So take it from the top. And then I fussy cut a little deer and I'm going to put him on the bottom. Now, on the other one, I cut a white spot to put some sentiments and I put that in there before I cut the deer and put him in place, but I can still do that and put it on the inside. So that's the inside. Here, I'm going to put down a strip of ribbon, strip of the ribbon that I put in the kit, which is kind of this bronzy gold color. So I'm going to put that down. It's really pretty brownie gold shade get it straight there it's going to dry clear and then in the center I also put in the kit this piece that is so I'm gonna a ch matching kind of shade of Center it. And then I'm going to take, okay, I think I'm going to, yeah, that should be fine. I'm going to take my, these are my scissors for cutting ribbon, and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to cut there and do the same on the bottom. Ta da! Now I'm going to take just a little bit at the top and I'm going to put that right like so. So you can still see Mr. Deer down here. I think that this is big enough that I will do. 
I do. No, I did. I took these. I'm going to say they looked like they were slightly bigger. I think I'm going to need some in the middle here. I don't like it when it kind of goes concave. So I did some along the outside and then some in the middle as well. So again, these are right off. There was one page that had a whole bunch of blocks of sentiments. So I'm going to put that right like so. Now you could cover the ribbon up right up if you wanted to, but I decided to leave a little bit at the top. And then I fussy cut a little holly and sprig, and I'm going to set it right in there. There is a couple of different hollies and sprigs, so just choose. There's, they're almost identical, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose to put in there. And so that's the card. Now I will go in like the others and I will do stardust right around the square. And I will put some on the leaves and the berries. And then I've got some on his antlers. And I will put some on his fur little muff there just to give a little bit of a, a glitter. Okay, so let's do um, this card similar type of technique. Again, this was another one that was one of the sheets. Came like that. So it's a sheet of cardstock. Again, I folded it in half. This was the other half of that sheet that I cut and put on the inside here. So I'm going to glue that on the inside here. It just gives it enough structure And at the, on the outside here, I'm going to put a ribbon across in the middle, a little piece of ribbon here. So I'm just going to, it's a little bit on either end. And then I will trim it. So I'll have to close it, do it this way. That way I've got it lining up nicer on the card. And then this was off the sheet with all the blocks. I'm going to put that in the center like that. This one says Merry Christmas. Center that on the ribbon. Another little piece of holly. I'm going to tuck that right there. Could be flat. I think I'll put some little could probably have just put one sticky on there. Might be overdoing it with a sticky. And on the inside, I'm just going to tuck this globe. So this was a fussy cut globe, and I'm just gluing it on. So that's the inside of that one done. And again, I will go in with the stardust, 
So I did it on kind of wherever there was greenery on the little houses, if you can see there. I'm gonna go around on the Merry Christmas. I'll do it on the greenery there. I'm gonna do it on the flowers up here as well. So I'll do all of that at the end here. So what I'll do is I'll lay them all out. I'll do them all at the same time. So here, it's another one. This one's a little bit different again. So this is the brown cardstock. So this is gonna be this one here, okay? So this cardstock is nine by six and a quarter. So basically out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet, you're getting one card. On this sheet, there was one card stock that had both of these. They were kind of side by side. So I cut them out, trimmed each of these carefully, and this is gonna go on the center here, and I am gonna foam mount it. Oh, hang on first. In the center. So let me just see here. I want the ribbon to come out above this line here. So I'm going to mark kind of the bottom line of where I want it to be. And again, I have another little piece, this one that I'm going to put in the center. If anybody was looking for one of these precision glue presses, they there were some in the store when I was in there on Monday. I do love mine. It makes it so much easier for my hands. So now I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to cut that, line it up and cut it. Line it up and cut it. Oh, don't use those ones. There's my, oh, looks like I need to change the blade on my paper cutter. So now I'm going to center that in the middle there. This looks like it. Yeah, you know what? I need to move these. I'm going to keep grabbing my, my um, ribbon and fabric scissors and, and use them with paper, which is not what we're supposed to do. And I'm putting some foam tape on the back here. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a dimension here. I'm going to center this. It is. So it looks like it's a bit of a, a water globe effect there. So now I am going to did some fussy cutting here. I've got a Christmas tree. I've got, where's my little fox? My little fox, it's like a winter scene. There's a present, I'm gonna put the present over here. There's two houses. So the house will go up here and up here. So, I am pull him out and I'm gonna the houses are just glued on. I'm going to kind of layer them. So 
I'll put that one there. And I want them inside, inside the <laughs> trying to think of the word. I want them inside the, the globe, the snow globe. Okay, now I'm going to put the little fox and I'm gluing him flat as well. Putting him almost to the edge here. Same with the present. I'm going to do him on the other edge because I'm going to foam mount the tree and give it some more dimension in front of everything. Put that over there. Make sure that's straight. And then I will pop up the tree. No, don't you poke out. That's in the foreground. And then one of the things that I did with this one and the other, there's another card very similar to it. So I did this. So when I did this card, in the snow globe, I took the stardust and I put little snow globe pieces in there, which I did down here as well, because if you shake the snow globe, there would be snow all the way through here. So when I go in and I do this, I will do that all over. So I will go in and I will do the greenery and the snow on the houses and I will decorate the tree. I'm going to do the little, the muff. And stuff I'll do the ribbon and on the tree but I'll actually do all the pieces in here like as if you were shaking it and there was going to be a snow globe and then on inside here I put a wishing you a wonderful Christmas and then there's lots of other things that you can decorate the inside of this with if you wanted to and you would probably need to put another white piece in here too. And in fact, maybe I should have done that originally so that you and put that inside there, but you would need to put thing if you wanted to add a note in there. Oh, did that the wrong way. So you can see here how I did the snow on there. Okay, so we'll do another snow globe one, which is this one here. Very similar, this is on a white card. Uh, cream colored card and you can see the snow and this one's all the houses so again this is nine this was what on the cream colored creamy white cards so this is nine by six and a quarter and it's scored at four and a half and then this was a sheet of cardstock that is okay which one is which one I think this bigger one this one goes on the front. This one's going to go on the inside. So this one blue checked piece of paper, I cut into two pieces. Larger one goes on the front. The leftover piece will go inside. Oh. Again, you could have glued that or you could have foam taped that one onto the front. Up to you. I will foam tape this on.
Now, one of the things I did do, so I should probably do this before I put it on there, is I actually did take my weathered wood and I did edge, this is weathered wood, and I did give it just a bit around the edge. Not a lot, just a little. And I actually did do that on the cream colored card base too. Again, not exactly the regular Christmassy card color, but um, it actually matches. It's not a blue, because I looked at stormy blue and it's not a it's not a blue. It's more this weathered wood color. Kind of um, I guess the skies when it snows. I guess is what the kind of the color is. I'm just giving it a little bit of a finish there. And then again, I layered the big one in the back and then the three in the front to try and keeping it in the globes. This first one, which is the bigger one, I'm gluing on and keeping it flat, centered towards the back of the snow globe. And then these two coming down and I want to see as much of the houses as possible and then these will be foam, foam dotted And put there. Almost done, guys. So that's that and then on the inside here I'm just gonna put a Christmas ball down here I'm just gonna glue that one on and then when I go in and I do this one again I will do all the little snow in here and I will decorate in all the windows and all the greenery on the house. So that leaves one, which is this one. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit different this time because when I was cutting the paper, I should have cut the, so there's a piece of paper like this red one like this and I should have cut it in half and I didn't when I was doing it. So I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, I am going to do this. And one across the top and one across the bottom. So it's just going to be slightly different than what I had in the description. And the other one, I mean, and I'm going to have the balls hanging just a little bit. It's just slightly different.
wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Something caught my attention. I glanced away and made a wrong cut. I don't know why I did that. I think the phone rang. No problem, guys. And as you can see, so that's, this is the last of nine cards. And so you can see how they've come together really, really quickly. And so basically, really cute little set. Um, the kit, you know, the paper. So this is this is the first of this of this paper that we've gotten in from um, Uniquely Creative. The package itself is fifteen ninety nine. So you could grab that, and you can work with that, and you could use whatever you have on hand. Or as I said, there's a couple of kits left. Of the ones that I had put together. So either way, really fast way for you guys to do some Christmas cards. Um, it's a great way for me to start making Christmas cards. I'm going to center that one there. And again, Always a way to, it's never a mistake. It's just an opportunity to embellish differently. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do it like this. Line it up. And then I'm going to put this one on the bottom. Like so. And then I'm going to do this like so line with the stardust stickle down to the bulbs so this is a little bit different on the outside but I I think it still looks great and then on the inside I am going to put this down there this is another little floral that right there and I'm going to put that right in the middle have a wonderful Christmas here we go so that guys is nine cards so that was an hour and 15 minutes guys and we just made nine Christmas cards oh, let me put that one up there so I will go in after and I will. So we just did nine Christmas cards, guys. How fast was that? Not bad, eh? Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Loved spending the time with you. Loved, uh, loved getting together with you guys tonight. I hope you have a great week. Um... Always love spending time with you guys. So make sure you make time for yourselves. Get into your craft studios, your craft rooms, your craft spaces. Take that time for yourself, guys. Get started on some Christmas cards. How awesome would that be? Um, next, so in two weeks, I'm going to start working on a Christmas album. I can show you the cover. Um, it looks like this. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to do that over two weeks. And um, we'll get going and get some Christmas jobs happening. Have a great week, guys.
Take care. See you soon.